we're going to run through a, uh, a short um, kind of a demo of our of our platform here, uh, focusing uh, specifically on on maturity ratings and soybeans. So um, it's a series of uh, screenshots on what you when you what you interact with when you when you use our system. So the first thing uh, is just logging into the back end. Uh, this is our, our cloud uh, uh, portal uh, that you log into where all of your data is basically, you know, just regardless of how many locations, trials you're running, um, there's the field data collection, uh, but it, it aggregates to a single point uh, in the cloud where you can easily look at all that information. So that's, you log in. Um, our, our platform actually has two sides to it. One is dedicated for research and breeding, and the other side of it is, is dedicated for, for production agriculture. There's a lot of similarities uh, between the two sites, um, but we're going to concentrate on that research and breeding side uh, today and what you'll see there. So the first thing you see uh, when, you, when you log in is a map-based representation of all your locations and trials. So uh, for this particular customer, we've, we've uh, um, obscured uh, information here around uh, trial locations. So typically what you see, there's the, there's the map at the left um, with, with uh, map markers showing the number of trials that happen to be in that particular location. Um, at top right, there's a list of, of all the locations uh, with, within, within your organization. Uh, again, I, we've blocked out the names of the locations for this particular customer. And then below that are a list of all the data sets that are in the platform. And um, you can uh, search for particular data sets or locations uh, within uh, timeframes and, and, and things like that. But this is the first thing you see when, when you log in. So if you actually go and you choose a specific location, and I have just checked the box here for a specific location, uh, the first thing you'll see is this is uh, the, the, the plot pattern for this particular location. It's shown as a, as a blue grid over a satellite background. And now in the bottom right, what you see are all the data sets that are associated uh, with this particular location. And each data set is uh, marked by the date and time that it was, it was collected. Uh, and again, you can search for, for different data sets if you want. Now, if you go and you decide to select a, a given data set, um, what you're seeing here now is basically uh, the data quality check that the, uh, the user in the field should see before they even upload the data, really. Um, but what you're seeing, again, uh, you see the blue grid, which are the boundaries of your plots. And now these are all footprints of imagery that was collected for this particular data collection. Um, uh, data that has passed the data quality checks has got a blue boundary around it and the, the images that have an orange uh, boundary to them uh, have failed uh, the data quality check. So it's a, it's a quick, uh, easy way to make sure you've got the coverage you need um, the, uh, and the data quality is there. It's there for you to look at. You don't have to look at it if you don't want. Part of the, part, part of the automation is making these quality checks are passed before the data goes any further into the workflow. So within the same menu here, um, sometimes an ortho mosaic will already have been created. Um, in this particular example, you can just uh, go and, and, and this particular data set has been selected and we were showing now the ortho mosaic instead of the satellite background image. Uh, you see that there and you can go ahead and turn the, uh, the plot pattern on and see the alignment uh, between the ortho mosaic and uh, the, uh, the plot pattern. So, what I've been concentrating on here are, are this tab that's just called data sets. And again, this is just all the data that may exist um, in an unpro unprocessed form uh, for this particular location. But there's another tab here uh, labeled results. And that's complete, uh, the, the data that's been completed uh, in the processing workflow. So we're going to jump over to that results tab. And now you see um, these are all the, the processed results for this particular location. and this, this is a different, uh, a different trial location. Uh, this is jumping into the, to the soybean maturity example that we wanted to show. So then again, this is uh, what's been selected here. This is January 14th. Um, this is a, the ortho mosaic of, of the soybean trial uh, on, on the image on the left. And what we've selected as far as the data product is, is basically a, a greenness metric. And what I can do is again, turn on uh, the plot patterns so you can see where those overlay uh, the ortho mosaic. And then we can turn on uh, the actual data layer here. So you see the ortho mosaic in the background for just visual context, but on top of that, 
is now a colored um, the data layer, and I'll I, I'll kind of show you. There's there's the grid pattern, and then there's the the data overlay with the with the histogram in the bottom left. And what we're showing uh, is something called triangular greenness index. It's something that we can deliver for uncalibrated um, uh, RGB or color image uh, uh, sensor systems. Um, you can adjust the color scale if you want to bring out some contrast. You can show and hide the, the plot patterns. You can show and hide uh, the data overlay if you want. Uh, but again, this is, this is this particular trial on January 14th, but we've got multiple measurements of this particular trial, January 24th, 29th, um, extending up to February 11th. So if we go ahead and select February 11th as a date, so now the ortho mosaic has changed. Um, and with it, you can see uh, you know, the, the maturity uh, of the trial has advanced from, from uh, January 14th to February 11th. And we've now selected the soybean maturity data layer. So that's represented by the color map and the, or the, the, the overlay on the map, as well as the histogram on the, on the bottom left. So quickly jumping to the, to the histogram, what you see here at the bottom is uh, maturity date in terms of days after planting. Um, and the individual plots have been color coded according to um, uh, what their maturity rating was in days from planting. So we can uh, zoom in and choose one particular plot, for example. And if, if you just hover on a plot and click on it, you'll see it's 113 days since planting and maturity was reached on February 9th. And for this particular plot, you'll see the, the, line, the, the, the line chart uh, at, at bottom is, is basically uh, how maturity was evolving uh, ultimately um, uh, until maturity was reached. And then uh, bottom right, you've got the, the zoomed in uh, color image of what that plot looked like on February 11th. So the last thing, as I, as I mentioned, it, it, it might be interesting to, to, to view this data in, in the platform. Uh, it's certainly useful to have the, the workflows automated so that you upload imagery uh, and then, you know, uh, short time later, these results become available. Um, but Frequently, uh, our you know clients will want to take this data and run it into a, another data platform, and there's multiple ways to do that. Uh, we've got API interfaces uh, available if you want to automate the flow of these results into your own data platform. We've implemented those with a couple of customers, uh, but there's also more manual ways. So what I've, I've, I've highlighted here is if for any of these particular trial dates, uh, if you click over here on the right, you'll have the option to download these results. Um, as a spreadsheet format, a GeoJSON, a shapefile, uh, or, or you can uh, download the full ortho mosaic as well. And when you do that, you're basically, you know, you choose a CSV file, for example, and what you get is a spreadsheet um, with tabular data showing uh, the maturity date and uh, the date of maturity for each individual uh, plot um, here. So, um, that's a quick run through on, on one example uh, for soybean maturity. Um, we'd be happy to run through more specific examples if, if you're interested in that type of thing.